Now, the temporary dust to dawn homeless shelter on Highway 99 may soon become permanent and move indoors. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Trina Green. In for Renee McCullough. KZI 9 News reporter Michael Severin is live from that site and shows us why not everybody is happy with the idea, especially some nearby business owners. Michael. Matt, China, this temporary dust to dawn shelter is supposed to be here for 60 days, and right now, county leaders don't know if it's feasible to make it permanent, but one business owner I spoke to is not happy about the idea. Tents fill the ground at the dusk to dawn homeless shelter on Highway 99. County leaders say it's at capacity with around 100 people. Oh, there's tents on tents, and it's uncomfortable because you can't crawl out of your tent without stuffing around. And The county already owns two of the buildings on the property and is thinking about buying a third building next door. County Administrator Steve milker Heisky says right now it's unclear just how many people this proposed shelter would house or how much it would cost. We're looking at the existing building conditions, so evaluating the condition of the existing buildings. We're looking at the, the site, the, the 1.5 acres itself, and determining what, how would a campus actually flow there? What services could we have on site? Bobby Patel, who owns a nearby motel, says he was not for the temporary <laughs> shelter moving in next door and doesn't want there to be a permanent shelter either. And it's bad impression on a guest and losing a revenue. So it's not a good idea. And again, project leaders don't know if it's feasible to make this a permanent shelter. They plan to meet with the Eugene City Council and the Lane County Commissioners on January 22nd to give them an update on some of these answers and how much it would cost and how many people it would house. Reporting live in Eugene, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News.